Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. Today we have Jeel here with us who has been recently placed at HPE as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us. Now we all know what HPE does so let's directly look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to the CSC and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 80% or 8 CGPA above in 10th and 12th and a 70% or a 7 CGPA above in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Jeel and understand her experience interviewing for HP. Hi channel and congratulations on your placement. Um, Thank you so much. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm Jeel Mehta and I'm fr uh, from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. I'm currently pursuing my Bachelor's in Computer Science and Engineering from the Learn Institute of Technology, Chennai campus. Uh, I'm glad to inform that I was among top one person student in 12th standard of Gujarat board for which I was awarded a scholarship amount of 80,000 rupees by Indian government. Uh, now, talking about my internship experience, I was uh, uh, intern at Winsky Consultants of Private Limited. Apart from this, I also worked as a data science intern at uh, London Build. Now, talking about my extracurricular activities, I was a part of a core committee in one of the club of VIT. Also, I have significantly contributed in many projects during my academics, which helped me a lot to gain experience. Um, that's all about me. Okay, that's great. Uh, thank you for that. You can now tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So first of all, we all applied for uh, uh, applied for HP in uh, CDC portal. Uh, after almost 20, 25 days, we got a first shortlisted list, uh, which which consisted of almost 300 students okay. and short, uh, that was shortlisted, shortlisted by company itself. Uh, for now, the, talking about the online assessment, it kind of consisted of MCQ and uh, coding questions. So MCQs were from easy to medium level and it has uh, uh, it has technical MCQ, aptitude, everything. Mm. And uh, the, there were two coding sections and first coding section had two coding questions. Mm. It was from easy to medium level only. The mm. thing was, uh, HP did was we have to choose one coding uh, language for first two coding questions and after that when you submit that two questions you have to choose another language uh, for another two coding okay. questions and that too was uh, easy to medium level only hmm. uh, at, uh, actually there was I was I don't know what happened uh, so I selected in the first I selected CPP then uh, again new section pop up and I have to select to an, another language so in hurry I selected C so it was a bit complicated okay. for me mm. to code in C because uh, mm. there were no sets and all yeah so, but somehow I managed to code and it was easy to medium level only mm. Uh, after that, uh, next day we got a shortlisted list for interview. In that list, uh, 92 students were shortlisted for interview process. Mm. Uh, on 7th, we had an interview process. Uh, first, uh, there were three total three rounds of interview. First was a technical round. Mm. And the technical round uh, it lasted around 45 minutes, 40 okay. to 45 minutes. Okay. And uh, there were two interviewers in my panel. They asked me a lot about DSA. The whole interview was uh, DSA oriented. Hmm. And they gave me a scenario based question and uh, told me which data structure you will be applying, how hmm. you'll be uh, getting the solution for this. And it was very complex scenario. Okay. Uh, but uh, the interview was very friend friendly. He was helping a lot. And uh, uh, then he gave me some complex SQL query, join queries, okay. which was very complex. And uh, apart from this, uh, he asked me a lot of questions from my resume. Like he asked me each and everything from my resume. Hmm. Uh, so after around two hours, I got another link for managerial, managerial round. So managerial round was around uh, uh, 30, 35, 35 minutes okay. long and he asked me a lot of questions uh, it, everything was basics only but he asked me a lot of questions everything was based on OOPS concept mm. OOPS concept uh, DBMS uh, what's the difference between binary search and linear search uh, and he asked me a lot of about my projects also he asked me to explain how my project is working what all mm. algorithms I have used in my projects etc and then he 
just gave me one puzzle which I solved in just two three seconds because it was very easy. Hmm. Uh, so that's it about the second round. Uh, it was easy only. After uh, second round around seven p.m. I got another link for HR round. Uh, I was expecting HR to ask many questions, but she didn't hmm. ask me anything. She just gave me the CDC breakdown and uh, asked me if I have some question for her or not. Okay. And then then she said like. Uh, uh, then she said, like, uh, we'll inform you the results, whether you'll be getting intern plus full time or only intern. That's it. So uh, almost uh, 25 plus students got the HR link. And uh, in next day in the afternoon, we got the results hmm. where 14 students uh, got selected, out of which eight students were selected as an intern plus full time and six students got only internship. Okay. So that's all about the interview process. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing and congratulations again. Um, do you have any any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience? Okay, uh, so one thing I would suggest them is like uh, you have to do DSA, like you have to do coding because coding is the only key you get into interview and for the interview you have to be confident even if you don't know the answer you have to approach they'll know like you are just a fresher so mm. still check how you approach the question not the um, solution so right. that's it okay okay that's great thank you so much and yeah thank you for your experience and for the suggestion thank you thank you so much guys for watching Please do stay tuned. A lot of interview experience videos coming uh, your way in the next few days. So do uh, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching.